Good morning, my bears. Welcome back to new episode of Bubby's Fat Loss. It's a little bit windy, so I apologize about that. Currently walking Boo Boo right now. He's uh, almost done with his walk, so we'll be returning home shortly. But uh, yeah, so this morning I didn't get a chance to weigh myself. I will do that as soon as I get back in. Uh, but I did already walk my other two dogs and had some breakfast. I also went to the local Harris Teeter to grab some eggs and some meat and just to have some some more breakfast foods for myself and for my family. I uh, put batteries in the Omron and I read in at about 18% body fat, which sort of makes sense. Um, but to be honest, I think I might be a little bit lower than that. It could be skewed a little bit. So I'll do another reading afterwards and show you guys what it comes out to be. Uh, but if that is the case, that means I'm around 175 pounds lean mass, which isn't that bad, but I definitely wanna get up to the upper 180s and maybe even 190 eventually, which will be very difficult seeing as I'm not a untrained athlete. Um, getting to around 190 will probably take me about a year and a half or so, I would say, a rough estimate. But the goal right now will be to maintain and also drop down into the mid to low tens. So somewhere around like 13 to 15% body fat. And once I hit that goal, it'll be a maintenance phase again. And then I'll start my lean bulk or the lean mass phase. But uh, yeah, so just gonna finish up this walk. I do have a training session later today. Uh, with a friend of mine so you guys will see clips of that later but for now i'm gonna head back in all right so uh, yesterday's leg session went pretty well and i didn't record all of the exercises that we did put them through one of my um one of my workouts uh, what i would have done for legs and so we'll talk about it now but yeah just so you guys know didn't record all of the exercises that we did. Um, but anyway, let's uh, let's get into it. So, uh, the first thing was uh, squats as per usual. And with this, I did a five by five. So I had us do a five by five. Here's Will hitting his first, no, second, sorry. Second set Easy. here at 255. Nice. And Bar's moving pretty well for him. His legs have gotten a lot stronger uh, since last year. Uh, next up here is uh, some reverse, dumbbell reverse lunges. And these are always super killer, uh, but they're honestly so great for targeting those quads. And um, with, with this, uh, I like to do them all on one side first and then on the other side afterwards. But uh, what Will is doing here is actually alternating instead. I find that if I do them all on one side, it just feels like I'm doing them faster, like the uh, exercise ends quickly. Uh, it's also a little bit harder this way, but uh, yeah, either way, it still feels really good. And with the reverse lunge, it's always nice to do if you have some kind of, uh, any kind of aches or pains with the normal lunges. All right, next was uh, some leg extensions. And uh, with this, I'm doing uh, bilateral contractions while eccentrically loading with unilaterally. Eight times on one side and then eight times on the other. Uh, I don't like to alternate with this. Uh, again, just because it, to me, it feels like I'm getting through it faster and suffering less. After that, this is uh, some hamstring curls. And with this, this is a unilateral um, hamstring power curl. And by power curl, I mean that uh, basically I'm focusing on contracting as hard as I can, as you guys can see here. I'm contracting as hard as I can. And I'm actually letting the weight stack drop all the way down to the bottom. and. With this, I want to reset completely. I don't want to have that uh, that extra tension at the bottom range of the motion. 
So I let the wake stack drop all the way down and this really helps with um, that power aspect of the hamstrings. So your hamstrings are very, uh, well, of course they're a very big muscle, but also they are able to generate a lot of power and you want to sort of um, train them in a way that will allow you to execute that amount of power. And so it's always good to sort of do that. Uh, afterwards, we did a isometric contraction of the hamstring. So here is some kettlebell um, unilateral RDLs. And so with this, uh, I like to make sure that the weight is on the same side of the leg that's standing in place or not moving back. This was a really great hamstring stretch and a really great isometric contraction. So after that, we actually did some uh, prone hamstring curls as well. Um, the prone hamstring curl was really just to sort of uh, get some nice bodybuilding style of training done. Uh, but for the most part, it was, uh, well, I, I basically we did like three sets of quads and then three sets of hamstrings. And then next up here that you guys see, belted hip thrust. So there's a machine specifically for hip thrusts and this feels really great, honestly. Um, I really prefer this over a uh, barbell because I think like it's just easier to set up and the belt is padded itself. So it doesn't really dig into your hips at all. But yeah, with this, I do like to make sure that people do slight pauses at the top uh, just to get that extra like nice hard contraction of the glutes and that was the last exercise i recorded but the other thing that we did was just some standard seated calf raises just to round out the workout that concluded the workout um today probably going to be hitting shoulders but uh either way thank you all so much for watching if you have any questions leave them in the comment section down below and i will do my best to address them if you want to get into online coaching don't hesitate to email me at the at gmail.com before you leave don't forget to click like and subscribe so you don't miss future videos this cutting series is almost over there's only going to be like one or two videos left and uh at the very end of it we'll we'll do that side by side comparison like i had mentioned before Anyway, that's all for me. See you guys in the next video.